Hey guys, and welcome to another edition of Rolling with Robert. Well, um, this first letter, Harry Palmby writes, no, I hope I said it right. I masturbate, and uh, I'm afraid of the horror stories behind it, of uh, growing hair on your palms and going blind. Uh, what is your thinking, and is any of this true? Well, Harry, the one thing I would like to say is um, some of this does have some truth. Yeah, it, some of it does have some truth. The horror stories that you talked about. Now, the reason why they say something about hairy palms is because you, know, you use your hand, right? And at that point and at that time, it's like, uh, uh, I, I mean, I got rough hands and, and calluses and stuff like that, but you don't feel that when when you are in that. You, it's like hair on yourself, you know? And, you know, hey, use the other hand, you know, to do a little tingling or whatever. I don't know. You know, uh, experiment. Who knows? You know, it's all up to you. But that's how they get the hair part of it. Um, the eyes part, okay, as far as going blind. Now, because of the fact that you, oh my God, I just orgasm uh, like that, right? Your eyes kind of go in the back of your head, you know? So you are kind of blind. You get a dizzy spell. Eventually, long term, who knows, you know, enough uh, brain damage going on and you're talking half sentences like me, you know? But, um... Um, it is okay, you know, so it's all a farce, but a little bit of half true, okay? So that should cover your um, your horror stories. Now, back, back in our days, we used to um, have to hide, have to hide masturbating. But nowadays, you know, uh, things have upgraded, you know, the, the world has upgraded and realized that... Uh, that it's okay, it's okay to masturbate and freely, you know, express the, the fact that you do masturbate, you know, and the best way of safe sex is abstinence and masturbation. Yeah, it, it is good to um, experience things with your partner, but uh, you got to be smart about it. Now, let's get into STDs, okay? Uh, if you want STDs, there is a popular website, you know, it's a uh, STD stdmatch.com so you know try that back in you know in my days you know the 70s and 80s you know we would just freely have sex like it you know like it was like it was nothing when, that's when AIDS you know that's when AIDS and and the bad diseases in, uh, came out and I think that you know in my opinion uh, that was God's way of saying hey man relax you know you guys can't you just love, you know? I mean, why do you got to take it to the extreme, you know, and whatnot? And, and it is fun going to the extreme every once in a while, right? But, you know, you got to be smart about it, you know? And so if you do go uh, without uh, protective sex, there are certain areas that you should check, okay? Now, of course, um, you need to check your partner. Now, visually check your partner, okay? Now, for females... You know, you don't have to make, hey, you know, pull out your penis. I want to check it. I want to expect it. No. Uh, but, you know, you can do it in a subtle, romantic type of, type of way where, you know, make sure there's light or, you know, in my case, reading glasses, you know. Um, but uh, physically look and, and, and look for anything that looks unusual. And if it does look unusual, you know, you might want to stay away from it. Because... And for guys, you know... Um, I always uh, took home, uh, like, a lemon slice, you know, from the bar or something. You know, you keep that in your drink, you know, and then when you're down there, just squeeze that lemon slice on that. And if she starts screaming, you know, you need to get out of there or cover up. I mean, you know, I know us guys, we like to go down there. And, and that's another reason why you should groom, ladies, you know. Let us take a good look at this thing, you know, that we're going to be trying to do. Visually, take a look at your partner. Okay, I can't stress that enough. Lemon slice, optional. Reading glasses, optional. So, um, enjoy. Have fun out there. Uh, please be safe on the sex. Uh, you should always treat your girl like, you know, 
like she is the one, like a princess, okay, and if, and you should always have goodness in your heart, so if, if you follow those steps and stuff like that, you should have, you have, should have a good run, so let's go with that, and I'll see you next week with Rolling with Robert, spicing up your sex life, thank you, peace!